my whole life. It's kind of been something that at first, when I was younger, was on and off for me. Being like, yeah, no, 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 I play music, but you never really thought that it could be your career until about a few years ago, or about, yeah, a few years ago when I started playing uh, nursing homes, actually. I started out with nursing homes doing jazz sets, and I play on the Alzheimer's unit, uh, a lot of nursing homes. Um, and it's funny because a lot of the patients who are there, some of them don't even recognize their own family members but they would sing along to all the songs. And I did all the songs that they'd want to hear, a lot of jazz standards and a lot of the 50s tunes, did them like Andrew's Sisters, and they, they absolutely adored it. At this point, um, I've released my first record, which was really a growing record for me, where even at the end of the record I realized that I feel like I've already, I'm at a, I'm at a different level now. So I'm writing the new record right now and I'm really excited about it, um, only because it's going to be a lot more of what I really want to do, which is um, sort of a rock, uh, acoustic, not so much acoustic, but more of a rock and energy, energy pop. I just love, you know, a really nice vibe to it. It's hard at first, you know, it's not a bad thing that your family shows up, but you get, I personally, I don't, I don't know, I get really excited when somebody that I don't know is like, no, 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 I really love your music and I just came out to see you. And that's like, what? It, it's completely mind-blowing that to me that someone you know, just a, an ordinary person would always really want to come out and see you, but it's the greatest feeling in the world. First album, every, especially my father, my father uh, basically stole the albums. They, I was touring in North Carolina at the time, and he basically stole a bunch of the albums, started giving them out to people. He was so excited, um, but I. You know, and slowly I have like this whole, apparently I have this whole untapped fan base in like New England and like Vermont and New York that like I didn't even know because, I don't know, I'm kind of the person that likes to just talk to people. When I was younger, um, my parents had a timeshare at this hotel and a lot of international people would stay. So I started learning how to talk to people and especially, you know, um, international people, you know, it's not like you're talking to another American. I found that people react to it very differently and I thought putting out this record that a lot of teenagers would love this album. But I found that it's a lot of kids and older people um, when I released Hey You, but now it's I think I, I really want, I've found my market that I want to cater to and that's more along the lines of the teens and the 20 and 30 year olds and the people that love, you know, the 80s rock and roll and I want to bring that back and I know that it's not back right now but, you know, what goes around comes around and I'll be ready. I was basically a high school dropout. Um, I left school. I was like, yeah, this is definitely not for me. I was bullied. Um, I was bullied a lot where it caused so much stress on me that it was not only affecting my school, but, you know, myself. And I was really depressed. Um, and I, I didn't know how to handle myself. I think when I left school, it gave me the time to, you know, kind of get acclimated to not only myself, but to how to deal with others. And that also provided a time for me to be able to write. And while well, kids were going to school for six hours a day, wasting their brains, I was sitting at home watching TV and still scoring much better than they would on most of the tests that they take. And I knew I'm a self, I'm a self-taught learner, and I can basically I've taught myself guitar, piano, um, ukulele, violin, um, and now I'm working on drums. I mean, I, I play a mean shipping up to Boston on violin, but that's about it. I found that when I left school, things just got a thousand times better for me. Uh, and it's, it's really been the best move for me as a career.
necessarily put my career on hold. Um, I think it's going to be a strategic move for me where a lot of what I'm trying to do, I'm looking for a talented young band that's, you know, ready to, you know, go out in the world and make this their lifestyle, you know, that don't want other day jobs. I mean, yeah, they might have to have them, but, you know, I want a band and I prefer a band that, you know, we all live together, we all play together, and that's just, you know, we're more of a family sort of thing. But I know that um, one of the main reasons that was holding me back from Berkeley is when I'm gigging, you know, three, four, five nights a week um, up here, I, um, it's hard to walk away from that money. It's hard to walk away from, you know, basically your salary. You're giving up all of your money and a lot of your shows to go spend 60 grand a year for school. And that's something that's really difficult. Um, but you, you, you have to realize that, you know, if I were to keep doing what I did and keep doing what I've done, I'm always gonna get the same thing. And I'm just, I'm breaking the cycle right now and I think that that is going to be the most um, beneficial element for my career. Hard decision for me was uh, when I finished Hey You, um, my producer brought in uh, an, a radio executive who owned a tracking station. There are six tracking stations in the United States that go that send all their results to Billboard, so you would get on the charts. And um, said, "Kid, I really like your stuff. What would you think about pedal steel? Country is really big right now." And uh, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do country. Country is a great genre for someone else, but it's not me. And, you know, he go, well, we'll spin you X amount of times and, you know, we'll see what happens. If people pick up the song and they love it, then let's do this. But we, we got to add some more country elements to the song. And um, I said no. And I made that decision when I was like 16. So, you know, I really, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that to myself and I couldn't do that to my music. You know, to pretend to be someone you're not right out of the gate I think is the worst career move that you that you could possibly make. When it comes to music, I love the art of the performance and the performance is really where I feel that I thrive when I'm in the right conditions, you know, with an awesome crowd, with, you know, a great band and stage and, you know, light system, the whole shebang. That's really, I love to entertain and I love to kind of bring the show to people. You know, it's funny because everything just kind of melts together and I think it's, it's awesome the way that everything meshes together and it turns into just this masterpiece and being on stage and being in front of a crowd, it's just, it's, it's exhilarating, your adrenaline goes through the roof.